you know, for, for me, uh, and, and I think for most people, like understanding what public policy is all about and yeah. how it even works okay, and, that's and a good operates and comes so to be. Back to first it, principles. Yeah, I like it. it it's, uh, it's just kind of like, it's not intuitive at all. And even for people who like work in the space, it also regularly just confounds folks. Um, uh, and, and so, uh, you know, when I think about it from the startup, you know, world or just like, um, or AI and robotics companies that are trying to, to just do their work and, um, and just constantly run up against issues either um, in terms of like what kind of reporting you need to do as a um, as a company if you're you know taking investments and you know there's all the different kinds of like SEC filings um, you know uh, uh, regulations governing like trade imports exports you know uh, now, is that how many for tax purposes knowing the S Security Exchange Commission for our viewers but. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, Security and Exchange Commission. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of regulations around like how much uh, uh, how much either Chinese ownership or like em uh, employment of Chinese nationals that U.S. companies can have because of concerns around uh, intellectual property violations, and things related to CFIUS. All of What's this CFIUS? is um, CFIUS is the um, Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. Okay, and, and it's that's a very, Chinese entity. Oh, um, it's it's a it's a U.S. U.S. entity, um, foreign like, meaning anybody. Okay, idiot, mm -hmm. got it. Makes but sense. Um, it, it was it was crafted and designed almost specifically in response to concerns around Chinese IP theft, and so it's a group of people. But, who have the power to um, review and potentially block like Chinese acquisitions and investments in U.S. companies if so, you know things look fishy? And all of this I was, is, like, policy. I mean, I was involved in a, an initiative to. Um, well, I mean, we're going for a patent is what it was. And I remember we were doing research on other patents and uh, we came across the Chinese patent office. And I feel like China thinks of us the same way that our propaganda portrays them, because it basically said, like, anything is on a need to know basis. We see you're in the U.S. Your IP is blocked. Get out of here. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was kind of funny because, I mean, we're sold one story, but that feels like that's not the whole story. Like there's. More going on. There, there's definitely, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of layers to this, you know, clusterfuck of a cake, or, or <laughs> however you might, you know, de describe it. Um, because as complex and oftentimes non, you know, intuitive or even just straight up nonsensical, like U.S. policy and regulations are it just becomes exponentially more complicated and a pain in the ass to deal with when you need to reconcile with as many as like 190 something other countries, you know, respective regulations and um, yeah, approaches to everything from yeah, patent law to, you know, import export, like, you know, uh, you know, processes to, you know, hiring, I, um, whatever. And so if you think of all of this as a, as a game or, you know, so um, an elaborate things. game of, yeah, you know, a, a massive, it's, it's well beyond Monopoly, 